a lot happened in my personal life. My living situation was chaotic. Most of my stuff is downstairs in the cellar. Half my stuff was in Berlin. The other half of my stuff was in London. That helps bring in a bit of income, but still not high guys. Honestly, once I started down this path, I was like, yeah, there's no going back. Hi everyone, and welcome to the first behind the scenes video of this channel. Sincerely, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a supporter of this channel. My intention with these videos is just to keep it really informal, keep it as like a fire sad, fire sad, fireside chat kind of thing. You might see some bloopers here and there. I just want to keep it authentic. I want to feel like I'm actually having a conversation with you. And I want to give you a bit of behind the scenes information on like what's happening with my life, my businesses, my YouTube journey, and all those lovely things, which I hope you're interested in. And I'm, I'm more hopeful that actually they will benefit you in some way. And these videos aren't just for you to get to know me better, but I'm hoping that I can also get to know you better because I want to genuinely provide value with my videos. Kind of want to build this channel up with you together with you so that you can benefit directly from it too so i'm just going to break it up into three different sections i'm going to first talk to you about some updates with the network that i'm building the business that i'm trying to build then i'll give you some updates on my youtube channel and how that's going and then finally i'll give you a few updates about my life and what's going on and why it feels so chaotic right now so firstly with the business that i'm building if you don't already know i'm trying to build a network for doctors nurses and healthcare professionals who are exploring alternative careers i really want this to be their go-to place to find information, resources, job opportunities, to connect with other people and to find emotional support because honestly when I was leaving medicine I didn't have any of that and I really really wish I did and I think I can create a really great network and community of people because I know so many ex-doctors or doctors who want to leave or doctors who are just generally interested in trying new things. So at the moment I'm setting up the platform, I'm trying to get all the content on there, I have a few friends who might actually be joining the team some have already joined the team and started helping me build up the the network and the ideas that we have for the network so I'm really excited I just love entrepreneurship in general honestly once I started down this path I was like yeah there's no going back I just really love this journey I can't compare it to anything else for me personally and I think I always had that bug from a young age you know when people used to play oh I'll be the doctor or I'll be the nurse and they'll have their little stethoscope as like a four-year-old I used to play I'll be the waitress and I run a cafe and um, I used to charge my dad like <laughs> one pound for making him coffee. For me that was really interesting and I always like this idea of building my own thing and building this network is just an extension of what I think I'm going to do for the rest of my life anyway. So yeah hopefully we are going to launch this network in May. If you haven't signed up already I'll add a link to it below. Uh, maybe when you watch this it will have already launched. In any case I would love for you to be there if you are a doctor or a nurse or other any kind of other healthcare care professional that um, wants information, wants access and wants a community to grow with to support you through this really difficult journey because it's not an easy decision but it also doesn't have to be like as big of a decision as you think it might be. But anyway, I digress. Let me tell you a little bit about how YouTube is going. So I started this YouTube channel I think in April 2023. I'm not 100% sure if it was April or oh, if my first post was in April or May or June, something around that. But I think it's been about like nine or 10 months. And I gave myself the goal that by the end of December 2023, I would be monetized. But a lot happened in my personal life up until that point, I think from like October to November to December. By the way, I've got a cold, so I'm, I'm very like nasally, excuse that. But um, yeah, in those three months, a lot happened in my life and I just took a step back. I, I couldn't even film because I was going from different places. Like I was, half my stuff was in Berlin in one place. The other half of my stuff was in London in another place. So it was really hard to stay consistent with filming. And I didn't film for such a long time. I think it was like 60 days or even 90 days that one point I didn't film. So it took me a really long time to get back into the filming and that kind of pushed my progress back a little bit. But I'm now, I think, 1,215 subscribers and you're one of them and I love you for being here. And I'm very close to being, I've already reached the first stage of monetization and I'm hoping to reach the next stage of monetization. And I'm just really looking forward to this journey. It's just like really, really fun. Uh, albeit, I have to admit, by itself, 
content creation doesn't feel enough for me. I do tend to get kind of bored. I'm a bit chaotic in my mind and I like challenge. I like building new things. I like learning new things and content creation as, as fun as it is, I don't think it will ever be the only thing I do. Yeah, so I'm hoping to be monetized very soon. And like I said, the more I win, the more I hope you can win too. I definitely want to give back like my ethos in life has always been to give back as ambitious as I am. I want you to to benefit from you being here as well, because you being here is part of the reason why this channel I'm hoping will succeed. So anyway, so that's YouTube. I'll keep you updated on that. It's just, it's a great journey. And if you've ever thought about starting your own channel, I highly recommend it, especially if you are interested in entrepreneurship or even if you're not, it's just such a great path to go down. There are so many doors that open, so many opportunities for you. So I highly recommend it. Um, and it's not, once you've done it, a couple of times it's not as scary as you think I promise and moving on to my last update then with life has just been so crazy um I was really unsure about where I was living my living situation was uh chaotic to say the least for the past four or five months it is still quite chaotic like what you see behind me now is actually me trying to make it nice for you but aside from that it's like chaos half my stuff actually most of my stuff is downstairs in the cellar I'm moving out to a bigger apartment which I have been hoping for for so long trying so hard to find one but it's so hard to find an apartment in Berlin I'm really excited about that but it comes with like a lot of preparation because we have to buy a new kitchen yeah in Germany you buy a kitchen even if you're moving into a rented apartment I know it's crazy don't ask me why I don't know why it's ridiculous but like designing a whole new kitchen and then even the bathroom needs to be renovated and it's just a lot there's a lot happening right now and another thing I want to talk about and be really transparent with on this uh on this uh, channel is money because I think not enough people especially people who are trying to do things that are a bit out of the box like entrepreneurship or bootstrapping or starting their own youtube channel or a side hustle not many talk about money and not many talk about privilege when it comes to money so for example my partner being happy to pay the rent for this flat is a huge relief and it takes so much financial pressure off me that he's able to do that for me but I know that not everyone is able to. I did have to like for a long time I wasn't earning from all my entrepreneurship endeavors only at one point did I earn um, but for most of it I have relied on um, help from my family and from my partner and that's not easy and not everyone has access to that. Recently now I've started freelancing um, and bringing in my own income to the side. It does definitely take up a lot of mental headspace um, that basically wouldn't be there. Like, I, I think everyone would just love to just work on their own thing, but that's not always feasible. So I've started freelancing on the side and that helps bring in a bit of income, but still not high guys. I'm still like living on the edge, but it really like, for me, it's worth it because I love what I do so much that I find it very hard to accept ever giving it up. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make it work in any way that I can. And that includes like having the basic amount of income that I need to let me continue doing what I really really love doing on the side so I'm a bit sick right now my head is like my flu is I don't know what's going on it's all it's all it's all a lot happening in my head right now I know this is a very chaotic first video but I appreciate you watching it through to the end and um I hope you <laughs> enjoyed watching it and yeah please in the comments introduce yourself let me know who you are I really do genuinely want to get to know you even if you're not a doctor nurse healthcare professional just let me know who you are I really would love to get to know you so anyway yeah Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a lovely day and I will speak to you soon. Bye.